welcome to the Bay Norbreck Hotel in Scarborough. And this one is slightly up a hill. Well, it is up a hill actually, overlooking the sea. Yes, this room boasts a sea view. And the room I originally went for was a single room. But I did check into that room. However, I managed to check myself out of that room and into the only available rooms they have, which is a twin sea view. Yes, I bagged myself a great upgrade. Yes, I didn't record the first room, but the carpet was stained to hell. I do prefer a darker carpet. You can still see stains on a darker carpet, but it but a lot of the time, a lot of them don't show up as much. So you may miss, so you don't notice them as much. So basically how I got this upgrade was, there was a problem with the tap and it wouldn't turn off. And I don't want it drip, 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 until the point, until the point something happens and there's a leak in the bathroom or something happens. And then I have to definitely leave that room. Yes. So. Everything is swimming so far. Swimmingly good. Yes, it is. So, what I'm going to do is turn the camera around and show you the room. Then when I come back, I will show you the bed. I will pick one bed and I will see how clean it is before I sleep in it. That is, yes, indeed. So apart from that, I hope you enjoy this hotel room review of the Bay Norbreck Hotel here in Scarborough. Enjoy. your two single beds they don't fit all the way and yes there is a stain already there no stain on that side that you can't see a stain down there and yes this room is quite tight but the drawer the um, wardrobe door does open in fact, it's very tight. All my, my stuff here. And then you got this here. My opinion, this room would work out better as a double bed. Get rid of that and make it a double. So, does this light work? Yes, indeed it does. And it does look very dusty. There was a dead fly in there. So does the TV work? Let's find out if the TV works. Can we change channel? Yep, that's all good. Now, I don't like it when the hotel leaves water, when they leave water in the kettle. 
that's swimmingly fine. All good. But next time, someone please, if you watch this review, tell him to throw that water away. Now your cups. I don't think I'll be using that. It is a bit grubby. That one is just stained and a lot better. Here is all your tea and coffee making facilities. Stuff. You got about four tea bags and some coffee and stuff like that. Your aerial, a very polished mirror, blue curtains, which I do like. Your sea view, which you probably can't see. A radiator, quite old looking radiator. No, it's not dusty, it's just been painted. Your room from this side. A Bible. Yes, you actually have a Bible. The amount of dust there. There is dust there. Yes, there is dust. But the Apart from this round the sides, the carpet has been cleaned. Now, here is the bathroom. Loud fan extractor, very dusty that fan extractor. Very, very dusty. So, good flow of water from that. Two plastic cups, one, two. That one's open. Soap, could have like, wiped that down. You got your floor, your floor mat, your towels there, towel radiator there, and then your towel rack there. Two, Toilet rolls, I had to think there. Lovely polished handle to stand up in the shower. Now, without getting wet. Yep, that's good. And it is warming up. Your hair and body wash over there. water now I can just about reach that and it doesn't work but the only thing that's really bugging me in this here is that the floor is spotless this room yep this bathroom rather should I say yep it's good not the best but it's good Oh, you've got a toilet bin there, and so on. That is clean. Toilet brush. And yeah, that is clean. Your room from this side. and your room from this side. And finally, you got two chairs here, very stained, not stained. You have two plug sockets down there. You have two more plug sockets over here, one here, to there and I wonder if that one is a nope it is a plug socket but that plug socket is very loose I 
Only because it's missing one of the screws. And you got a mirror here. And coming over here, you have your main light switch on, off. Over here you have your floor and fire plan. This looks ancient. But good to see it. This is not in use, but this is. I don't know what that is, so someone to help me out to let me know what that is. That is for, I have no clue. Maybe that. The floor is very clean. And finally, nothing in this drawer. And your hair dryer's here. And you got a phone. You got a fan. And you got about fan about ten hangers. But I don't see an iron. Spare pillows, spare quilt. The picture isn't even straight, but yeah. It is what it is, I gather. So, here's your bed and it's spotless. I've taken the cover off it. Now I'm just going to take a peek in here. And I can tell you, pillow is clean. Even though it has a little stain there, a bit of fluff. Just fluff again. There's a little stain there. There's a stain on the out on. Okay, let's take this off. So the pillow does have some stains. A little stain there. The bed is clean. Good to see it's got this on it. Now, does it have an under protector? Yeah, it has one of these, which is clean. The bed looks clean. Looks like it doesn't have any stains, apart from the one here. And yeah. Now, this is your view. What a marvellous, wonderful, Trying to get outside. Marvellous, wonderful view. So the bed is clean apart from the few stains on the pillows. But it does have a protector. And now I can tell you the protector is clean. Yes. There is one other thing to show you. And that is here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yes. Here. Here, where this has been, needs to be cleaned. And this, taking it off now, needs to be cleaned as well. So oh, you can see it better. Needs to be cleaned there. All grubby. I will put that back on somehow. Just push it back on. Yes. So, for the final time, here is your room view here's the view out the window which is amazing yes 
castled that way I believe and so on that's the room I stayed in if anyone is curious now walking down here All the way down here. All the way down here. The Bay Norbreck Hotel in Scarborough cost me a grand total of 40 pounds and 70 pence for a single room. However, I managed to bag myself an upgrade. That is all due to the fact the tap wouldn't turn off. Yes, and this hotel boasts multiple different rooms from singles, doubles, sea views, twins, premium rooms and so on you get the justice of this. This hotel is located on top of a hill. We could say a cliff if you like, right by the sea, yes. And the room I had was a twin sea view. And that sea, sea. wow, wow, wow. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Yes, to get an upgrade like that, absolutely thrilled with that. Now, we are located right by the castle. So I expect this hotel to cost more than it does, but there was a sale one at the time of booking. Now, what do I think of the overall hotel? Needs a lot of TLC outside the hotel, but the hotel inside is nice. I wouldn't say the nicest hotel, but the sea view really does complement the room I was in. Absolutely marvellous. Spectacular, shall I say. Yes, indeed. So, the Bay Norbreck Hotel, after bagging a free room upgrade due to, once again, the tap not turning off, that's not my fault, I didn't touch it, it was already on, is spectacular. Now, I'm going to say, the upgrade was worth it, because the room is five times better than the single room I was in. Yes, it certainly is. And, would I stay here again? Find that out near the end. So, the room was clean, but... It did need cleaning a bit on some sides, round the corners and the edges where it needed hoovering a bit better. But apart from that, the room was clean. The room was stylish, but it was compact, very tight in places, but I didn't feel cramped at any point during my stay. The bathroom, quite tight compared to the first one, but it was more modern, better looking, and it was nicer, shall I say? Yes. So, next, the smell, all good in there. Bathroom cleanliness, pretty clean. Just above, wipe it down a tiny bit more and it will be better. Yes, that is operating. And what else? Very, very good view. 
The winning point of this room is the sea view. Absolutely blowed me away. Wow, wow, wow. What a marvellous sea view. That is the winning point overall for the room and why the score is as high as it is. So, location, very good. TV works. Spotless, t spotless bed, very clean, tidy. Just a pillow had a few marks on it, but they had everything to cover that up. Now, on to the scoring. So, customer service, 10 out of 10. Free upgrade, ching, 10 out of 10. Room size, because it's quite tight, 7.8 out of 10. Bathroom size, 7.2 out of 10. Overall, 7.5. Feel of the room and the bathroom, the feel of the room is a 8. 0.2 out of 10 because I felt really comfy in that room even though there was a squeeze because of the wardrobe you could only be one side of the wardrobe otherwise you couldn't do anything in the wardrobe basically so the cleanliness in the room not the best 7.8 is not the worst Cleaning into the bathroom, I'll say 7.8 as well. Now, the over style, pretty good in there. I will give it a 7.9 out of 10 for the bathroom, a 7.7 out of 10 because it was yes and no. Just needs a bit more cleaning in the bathroom, <coughs> pardon me. Now, apart from that, I would give the overall score because of the sea view, no, the location is a 10 out of 10, spotless location, 10 out of 10. And the reason why, got something in my hair, the reason why it's so high is because of the sea view, eight, Point three out of 10 all day long. My final bird score is 8.3 out of 10 all day long. Yes, indeed. Would I recommend this hotel? Of course. The Norbrek here in Scarborough is a definite, definite recommendation. That is once again the the Bay Norbreck Hotel, owned by Coast and Country. And it is a brilliant, brilliant hotel. Yes, indeed. So, it just needs, once again, TLC on the outside and TLC a bit in the rooms. That is just my verdict. Yes, it does. Apart from that, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the very next hotel room review or the very next review right after this one. Bye for now. Bye. Hello everybody. My name is JBM Travels, the true UK traveller. It was absolutely rancid. Disgusting. It was dreadful. Just unbelievable. Thumbs up. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Bye.